Hello YouTube, the name's Big Kong and I want to show you how to make a homemade incubator and how it's successful. Now I breed tokay geckos, uh, very easy to breed, just get a male and a female, don't need to temper with the temperature, the humidity or anything like that, they'll breed when they want. I've had a successful batch of seven, uh, nine eggs now, uh, so I would like to show you my incubator. First off, I've just got a normal po uh, bog standard poly box from me local pet shop. Just went in, said, excuse me, got any poly boxes? Pass me one. Said, yeah, plenty that is. Then I went on eBay. Got a thermostat. It's just pen and paper. I got a Habistat Pulse, which is the best. Which is that one. That's the best one because it gives a pulse out of the heat. Now, I went into my local pet shop where I get my reptiles from and I asked a few questions. Just asked him what's the best way of setting up the incubator and he told me that the best place is to put it on the lid therefore gravity will take it down the heat down and not instead of bringing it up therefore you could boil the eggs so here's my eggs as you can tell I've had a hatchling out of that one and that one is about I would say three weeks old that egg now this one on the court bark I have four eggs this one is hatched one two and three i'm expecting them within the next three days i would say uh, i sell all my tokay geckos and here is the hatchlings now if i'm careful because they're very quick i've got to be quick right there's one and the other one is at the bottom i can't get it because it's very dark They're very good escape horses but there's one and the other one I guarantee is at the bottom of here but like I say it's very dark so I can't really get him out uh, they're both males because I have my temperature quite high and also another good thing for the tank uh, for the incubator is to get a piece of paper and jot down every day of when your eggs are hatching of every day of the temperature and the humidity in with your eggs now I use vermiculite vermiculite's alright, I've heard peat's good but I've used vermiculite, I'd spray them every two weeks just to get the humidity a little bit higher and that's it YouTube, I just wanted to show you that making your own incubator is cheaper than buying the Pro Rep uh, the Lucky Reptile, the Exo Terrier one which I think is an absolute rip off of over 100 quid whereas I've set all this up for round about £40 and I have had, I have made myself nearly £80 with the lizards selling the geckos on I sell them at £20 a piece to whoever wants them so just give us some feedback YouTube if you're happy like it, if you're not just discuss alright, catch you later, Tra. bye